Uh, hi guys, today I'll introduce you how to uh, reverse stack using recursion. And suppose we have a stack which is like this. So from the top top to the bottom, we have element uh, W A T R, and our job is to reverse this stack. And the reversed stack should be looked like this. And uh, to solve this problem, we should make use of two uh, recursion method. Uh, the first one is reverse and the second one is insert button so if you click uh, the link to uh, see my code you can see these two methods and we also should uh, make use of the fun function uh, cost x of these two methods right so we should uh, make use twice uh, uh, the cost deck and to finish our job right so firstly uh, we should call the reverse method Firstly, and uh, uh, our job is to pop all these elements and uh, out and push them into our cost deck. Uh, notice that this cost deck belongs to the uh, reverse method, right? And uh, we should do like this. Firstly, we pop the uh, element W and push it onto the cost deck, and then we uh, pop uh, A and push it onto the cost deck then the, the element uh, e t e r right so we have finished the, the pop thing and then after we have popped all these elements we should call them uh, insert bottom method to insert these element uh, onto our stack uh, back to the stack right we should do the reverse thing so uh, we should uh, deal with the first element r and remember that uh, now we have to call the method insert bottom right so we should make use the call stack of these uh, methods method and uh, we should firstly deal with the element r as the, the stack is empty right now right so we should we can directly put r into our stack then we should deal with the element e right as uh, currently the stack is not empty right so we should uh, pop this element out and push it onto our core stack which is like this and then now we can see that the stack is empty again right so we can put the element e uh, into uh, our stack right which is like this and then we pop the element r out and push it back onto our stack so uh, currently, we have a, 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 a stack which is like this, right? And then we should deal with the element T, and we should also uh, uh, put it onto the bottom of our stack, right? So again, we should pop uh, R uh, into our core stack 2, right? And we should pop the element E into our core stack 2, right? And then as our stack currently is empty, so we can push the element t uh, at the bottom of the our stack, right? So we just like this, and then we can uh, push this element back onto our stack one by one, right? So we have a stack which is like this, right? So next, next time, next thing uh, we need to do is to deal with the element a, and again we should uh, pop this element into the cost stack 2 right which is like this and then as as the stack is empty again we should we can put the element a back into our stack which is like this right and then we can push this element back which is like this right and the next element we should uh, insert is w right we should again insert it at the bottom of our stack and we should make use of the call stack 2 again we should pop them pop this element into this call stack and then as the stack is empty again we can put w back into our stack and then we just finish all these elements we just uh, pop them out and push them back into our stack right so we have finished the thing after we have done all these things, we have a reversed stack, right? So I put the link of my code under my video, so you have uh, have a check 
Uh, and that's all. Thank you.